All right. Hello, guys, and welcome to Bethel, Oklahoma. Big Mike and Trail here coming live to you from the start for the start of the Bethel tournament. Um, we want to thank Bethel for hosting the tournament and hooking us up with everything we needed today. Um, we do have really good internet today, so that should not be a problem. Um, we got some captains at the middle of the court, as you can see right now. Looks like the captains for Preg is Matty Rich, Peyton Cameron, uh, <laughs> Peyton Cameron, <laughs> Peyton Cameron. <laughs> Maggie Smith and Demi Manning, it looks like. Um, we've got a couple of new uh, nicknames we're going to introduce today. We're still working on some of the rest of them. But um, I can't see the numbers for the Perkins Tryon Lady Demons, I believe is the nick their, their name. Um, I can't see their captain. They have their uh, warm-ups on, so I don't know who it is. But again, 10 o'clock, we've got 2 minutes and 45 seconds left until the opening tip-off. We'll get the starting lineups and everything here shortly. And then I'll kick it off the trail and let him call the girls game. Again, at 5.30 tonight, the boys will play Bridge Creek. 5.30 tonight. Trill and I will be here calling that game as well. Um, again, welcome for all the people that can't make it to the tournament. I know it's kind of hard to get off work on a Thursday at 10 o'clock. That's why me and Trill are here. Uh, it just happens to fall on my days off. And so hopefully we can bring the games live to you. Um, we shouldn't miss any games. We don't have anything planned. So um, uh, as soon as the girls get done... Let me bring up my schedule here. I'll let you guys know when they play, if or when they lose. So if the girls win today, they will play, play tomorrow, Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. against the winner of McLeod and Clinton. Again, tomorrow, 4 o'clock, if they win against the winner of McLeod and Clinton. If they lose, they will play tomorrow, Friday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon against the loser of the same game, McLeod or Clinton. Um, the boys... If they win tonight against Bridge Creek, they will play Friday at 5.30 against the winner of Perkins Tryon and Bean. If they lose, they will play at 2.30 tomorrow, Friday, against the loser of the same game. So, again, Big Mike Trail here live from Bethel, Oklahoma, at the start of the Bethel tournament. I do know – I can't remember what the girls did last year. I know they did pretty decent, but I do know that the boys won this tournament last year in overtime against the host Bethel. Um, a lot of different teams here this year, a lot of higher-name teams. Um – you know, McLeod is in this one. Who's a bigger seed? Let's see who else is in here. Tecumseh is in this one. Of course, Bethel, Bean, Perkins, Tryon, and Clinton. So um, we'll get ready. We've got a minute left until tip-off. I'll throw it to Trail. Let him call the game. And, uh, yeah, we're glad you're here with us. I want to do the national anthem, guys, and we'll be right back. All right. Ready to start off this tournament. Craig Girls playing the first game of the tournament, I believe. Yeah, yeah, because there's nobody here when we got here this morning, so uh, yeah, it should be the opening. Uh, 
should be the opening game of the tournament. Um, hey, guys, my number is 405-808-1245. Give me a call, text, whatever, if you guys have any questions, concerns, if the stream is messed up, we need to change anything. Trell and I are also always open for, uh, for questions, concerns. Also, we need nicknames. So if you guys got some nicknames, let me know. Starting out for Prague, number five, The Wild Thing, Maggie Smith. Number 11, Maddie Money Rich. Number 20, Stephanie Tinsley. Number 22, Peyton Cameron. And number 35, Demi Manning. They're going to be coached by Gary Kinnamer and assisted by Ella Schultz. The, the Lady Demon starters are going to be number 10, Kendall Marshall. Number 12, uh, uh, Emery Fields. Number is that 14, 14, Carmen Jones. Number 23, Ariana Coyer, Coiner, sorry. And number 34, Ashley Larson. And that number 34 is tall. She is. She's really tall. That's it's gonna be Maddie. I'm gonna. I'd say Maddie's probably our tallest girl. Those two are gonna go at it. I feel like. Uh, the Perkins Tryon girls are gonna be coached by Jerry Burnett, and we're getting ready to get this game underway. So Preg going left to right, uh, wearing the all red with the white trim, and the Demons going right to left wearing the white. I, I think that's black, isn't it, Trill? It looks like black. And Perkins Tryon's going to win the tip. It's going to be number 14 driving to the hole. Puts the layup up. It's off the mark. Rebounded by Demi. She throws it off of number 34, Ashley Larson. Good defense there by Maddie Rich. Demi inbounds. They're going to start out in a press for Perkins Tryon. Yeah, they're in a full man-to-man -man press here. And it's going to work as Maggie Smith misses the pass. It's a little high, a little over her head. Not many people here this morning. Number 12, deep three, Ooh. and it's good for three. It's going to be Emory Fields putting up the first points of the game. That's going to be a three for Perkins Tryon. Preg having a little trouble with this press here. She's going to have to hurry. Peyton kind of beats her. Beats it down to Maggie. Ooh, come on. And Maggie's going to lose the ball out of bounds. It is going to be Preg's ball under their own goal. Oh, big block by 34. And she's going to be someone that we have to stop. She is really tall. As she goes up for the layup and it's off the mark. Maggie Smith with the rebound. Demi tries to pass it up to Peyton. Peyton kind of lost handle on it. She gets the ball back, though. Demon's playing some really good defense. Preg still having trouble trying to crack it. As Maddie drives in, it's off the mark. Rebounded oh. by Maggie. And she can't go up with it. Ooh, turnover by the Demons there. Looks like she kind of lost the handle on it, went out of bounds. It's going to be right by the end of the Demons goal. Again, heavy pressure by the Demons. Demi drives, oh. goes up, it's off the mark. Good rebound Maddie there by. Rebound. Ooh, here Payton it is. The wide open three. Oh. Bang, bang, kind of one, two, three. The first points of the game for Prague. And I hope she's on tonight. When she's on, she's hard to stop. 
as long as we can get the ball down there to her. Five thirty left in the first quarter, Prig and Perkins try on tie. Number twelve takes the shot. Man, she was way out there too. That was off the mark. Well, uh, that other side, she was probably a good five ten feet. That out. was Steph Curry range. We got a timeout, Demons here. Five twenty nine left. We'll be back in just a minute. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With Orthopedic Urgent Care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. All right, and we're going to be back. Looks like number 20 Tinsley to inbound under the Demon's goal. Demon putting high pressure on Preg right now. It's really hard to play man-to-man -man unless you've got the athletes. So far, the Demons have been up to the challenge. Foul. They're going to call her out of bounds. Nope, they're going to call foul. Good. And that's going to be a foul on number 12, uh, Emory Fields. And I, b I believe we're going to have to – it looks like the, the Demons players is that point guard 12, Fields, and 34. Yeah, they're going to be they're going to be really good together. Kind of like last year, if you remember. Kind of like me and you, Trill. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> Maggie loses yeah, handle on it. She gets the ball back. That fields can play some defense, man. She is salty. 23 goes up, and it's good for the easy layup. That's going to be Ariana Coiner. We're going to have to find a way to beat this press. Go, Demi, go. Demi's going to try to take it all the way. And, girl. and it's good for two. Demi putting up her first two points of the game. Number 14 drives. She's going to draw the foul. That's Carmen oh, Jones. No, no, no. They call it a walk, Trill. Oh, they called it a walk. Sorry. Yeah, I was fixing to say Maggie Smith was pretty set right there. I wouldn't have called that an offensive foul, but that was a good no call. They're going to say that she took the step before the foul, I guess. Oh, now. Maggie kind of blocked got a chance this. right here. Maggie kind of screened for... Demi gets fed. Oh, good block. That's Demi. her second block of the game, that number 34. Yeah. 14 takes the shot, Ooh. and it's good. That's going to be Carmen Jones putting up another big three for Carmen Perkins Tryon. Oh, good step over by uh, Peyton Cameron there. Peyton crosses her up, takes a shot from right about the free throw line, and it's off the mark. Ooh, off the foot. Yep. That's going to be off number 23, Ariana Coiner. It's going to be Preg's ball with Wild Thing Maggie Smith to inbound. 4.02 left in the first. Preg down three, eight to five. Opening game of the Bethel tournament. And it looks like Maddie Rich and number 23, Coiner, are going to tie up for the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be Preg's ball right where they just started. Peyton goes baseline, kicks it to Manning baseline. Manning tries to throw up a little hook shot. She's going to get fouled, and we're going to the line to shoot our first two points of the game. That's good. They got, they got number 34. Her first foul, Ashley Larson. That's really good. As long as we can keep drawing fouls from her, we'll be set. Yeah, maybe Demi needs to start keep working that baseline and, and draw some fouls and from her. As Demi rolls the first one. And the second one bounces in and out. Looks like the Demons are playing really fast. They're trying to get up the court quicker than our girls and trying to defend them faster, I guess. As number 10 takes the shot from the wing, it's off the mark. Rebounded by number 34. She goes to put it up. It's going to be deflected. And number 22, Peyton Cameron comes down with the ball. It's 
It's going to be out on number 34. She, she's a force to be reckoned with down in that she's paint. Tall, she's got a, like two or three inches on Demi. It and her means. longs, her arms are like four inches longer. Oh, good pass. Go up. Go up, Maggie. Another block by Larson. It's going to be out again on Larson. I think that's her, at least her third block in the game. Three minutes, 310 left in the first. Maddie from about the top, from the inside of the top of the keys, shots off the mark. Rebound by number 14, Carmen Jones, for the Lady Demons. Stand strong. Number 14, wide open. Three. It's going to be off the back iron. That's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Preg's ball right about the baseline. 2.50 left in the first. Preg still trailing the Demons by two. And we got a first sub of the game. That's going to be number 10. Kendall Marshall taking a seat for number 20, Mallory Marshall. Still the Demons high pressure. Oh, they're going to play a trap now. Maggie wide open. Oh, Missed get her on the mark. Help her. Rebounds. Foul. They're going to call a foul on number 23. Yep, it's going to be a number 23. It's going to be the third foul for the Demons. It's only going to be 23's first. Peyton thought about taking that shot. She's going to drive and set and float it for two. Game's going to be all tied up now, 8-8. Eight to eight with about two minutes and 15 seconds left in this quarter. Check, check. And the shot's gonna be off the mark. I didn't really see who shot that one. It's gonna be brought up by the Demons. The shot's deep by number 12. It's going to bounce off the back iron. Stephanie Tinsley with the rebound there. Man, she was almost out of bounds when she shot that ball. Dude, these girls, they've hit, what, two of them? Yeah, they've shot, they, they, they've shot several. Four or five. Two. Yeah. That's because get, getting in go. the paint with our girls is normally decently hard. As Maddie tries to feed it to Peyton Cameron, she loses the ball. That's going to be Preg's ball. They're going to say it went off of 14, uh, I believe. Demon. Off of number 14, Carmen Jones. Number five, Maggie Smith under the basket. It's off the mark. Rebounded by number 23, Ariana Coiner, for the Demons. <laughs> 23, Coiner goes up. She's going to draw the foul. Maddie almost had the block there. She's going to go to the line to shoot two, as the foul is called on Ladies Maddie Rich. That's going to be Preg's first and Maddie's first. It looks like Leah Dahlman's fixing to come in here. we got a nickname for her. She's now the Mighty Mouse. <laughs> looks like uh, Maggie Smith is going to come out for Leah Dahlman. Let her get a little bit of a breath in. And the second one's off the mark. All the way. Peyton Ooh, gets strip gets knocked away. It's going to be out of bounds on number 23, Coiner. <laughs> 34 seconds left in the uh, first. 
quarter here. It's going to be Tinsley to inbound for Prague. Looks like Demi tried to get a pass off there, loses it. Peyton comes up with it, takes it baseline, throws Ooh. the floater for two. 15 seconds left in the first. Six, Six seconds. Shots up. It's off the mark. Rebounded by Maddie. And they aren't going to get the last shot off. So that'll end the first quarter. Preg leading um, Perkins Tryon 10-9 to nine after trailing most of the first quarter. They come back and get a bucket right before the first quarter. And we'll be back with the second quarter after this. Dr. Diesel Horse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Alright, and we're going to be back starting the second quarter of play. Preg leading 10-9. to nine. It's going to be the Demon's Ball. Turnover. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Preg's ball. They're back in their man-to-man -man full court press now. Preg still have their starting five out there, minus uh, Maggie, Maggie Smith, Smith for Leah Dolan. Yeah. Leah goes down low. Ugh, misses the layup. Couldn't, she was a little short with it, caught that front of the iron. Number 14 takes the shot, Ooh. and it's good for a three for three. Perkins Tryon. It's Carmen Jones putting up her six points of the game. Over the back. Foul's going to be on number 14, uh, Carmen Jones of the uh, Demons. That's going to be her first and the team's fourth. Peyton Cameron. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she was tired. expecting um, number ten came off of her uh, a defender and and they double teamed Peyton right there. Maddie loses the ball in the paint. It's going to be another jump ball. So it should be should be the Demons ball now. Indeed it is. 6.37 left in the first half. Preg trailing by 2, 12 to 10. Oh, and the ball's going to be lost. Tinsley comes up with the ball. Yeah, good steal by Tinsley there. Peyton thinks about taking a baseline. She's going to try to feed to the middle, and it's going to be off of number 14, Jones. Jones. And it's going to be Preg's ball. It's going to be Tinsley to inbound. 
as Maggie gets ready for a sub. She's going to sub for Tinsley. See if the wild thing can come in and give us a little spark here. Ties it up. Oh, they're going to call it a jump, jump ball. Jump Should ball. be ours this time. 5.49 left in the first half. Still 12 to 10 in favor. We're just, we're just kind of a little lost on offense right now. We need to try to figure out this demon's defense. Quit turning the ball over, and I think we'll be okay. Rich tried to get the ball into Manning in the paint. Kind of lost a handle on it. And it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be the Demon's ball. With about five minutes and 30 seconds left in this half. Number 10 with the three. It's going to be off the back iron. Rebounded by number five, Wild Thing. As Preg gets ready for subs. Maddie gets the good ball. pass and by Dahlman right, right there. Two. Good pass by Mighty Mouse right there down low to Rich. It's gonna be a timeout called by Perkins Tryon. And Preg's gonna go ahead and make two subs there. I, I didn't see who it was. Did you see who it was, Trey? Um, it's gonna be Delaney Boyd. And Tessa Cooper are going to come in. I didn't see who they were going to be coming out for, though. It's a really good game so far. Craig's kind of figuring out how to break that trap press. We're playing pretty good defense. They're really the only the only points they've really scored. They've got nine points off of three pointers, um, and all those threes are really deep. So I'm not really too concerned with that because unless a team is just on fire, um, you know, you know, they say you live and die by the three. Uh, I'm, I'm really not concerned about the 3-3, three, three, so I think we're playing good enough defense. We're just going to have to find that spark on offense. This is a really low-scoring game, only 12 points by both teams, and it's almost halftime. I mean, we're almost halfway through the second quarter, so Preg needs to just find a little bit of spark on offense here. So. It looks like number 11, Matty Rich, and number 35, Demi Manning, are going to take a seat for number 25, Delaney Boyd, and number 14, Tessa Cooper for the Preg Lady Devils. Number 12 takes the three. It's off the front iron. Rebounded by Dahman. She's going to take it herself and see if she can beat the press. And it's going to get slapped away. Out of bounds on number 12, Emery Fields. Tessa Cooper gets the ball knocked away. Maggie's going to get fouled trying to drive baseline. I think they're going to get number 10, Trill. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be on White, number 10, Kendall Marshall. As they make a, as White makes a sub, number 23, Ariana Coiner is going to come out for, I didn't see which number that was. I think it was 20, Mallory Marshall. 25, Delaney Boyd right inside the free throw. It's off the mark. Rebounded by 34. Hold on it. Lady Devil's going to jump on her. Tessa Cooper misses the ball. Dahman's going to pick up with the ball. And we're going the same way. And pass is going to be picked off by number 12, Jones. Ooh. Or, sorry, number 12, Fields. Oh, Cooper got her ankle rolled up on right there. Fields fell down on top of her. It looks like they're both okay, though. Okay. 
Looks like the uh, Demons coach is not too happy with the refs at the moment. They're having a discussion down here. And we're ready. Telling you, man, this this trail, this this Perkins try on defense is is really good. Yeah, they're not bad whatsoever. And I was telling Trail, I didn't think they could man-to-man -man full court press the entire game, but so far that's exactly what they're doing. It tends to wear your team down pretty uh pretty hard. They have unless, a, you, they, unless you just got a big rotation with a lot of people you can play. They have a big rotation. It looks like it's gonna be out of bounds on number 20. Marshall. Marshall. They're gonna call it off Domin. They are gonna call it off Domin. Yeah. Then it's going to be off Domin down on the other end of the court. They have a pretty big lineup. It's not as big as Preggs, but it's, it tries to be there. Number 20, open three. And it's going to rim in and out. Rebounded by Peyton Cameron. She needs help. No, she's got her now. Come on, Peyton. Peyton's going to try to beat her. Over the back. It's going to be an over the back on number 34, Ashley Larson. That's going to be her second. It's going to be the team six. 3-12 left in the half. Still tie game, 12 all. Boyd from the post off the mark. Ooh, good offensive rebound by Tessa Cooper. Goes back to Boyd after Tessa loses it. She's going to try to get the pass to Dom and it's going to be off the mark. Again, 34 with another block. I bet that's like number five so far. Field steals the ball. Number 10 takes the shot. It's going to be off the back iron. Rebounded by 34. She goes up and it's good for two. 237 now left in the half. Peyton tries to take her, she thought about taking her baseline right there and think she had enough room. Peyton's going to have to to, to kind of watch that shove off right there. She kind of got away with one there. Yeah. Three. Peyton takes the three. <clears throat> it's off the back iron. Dom Dom tried to save it. it. She did. Oh, grab it, Maggie. Maggie misses it. I think it's safe she stepped on the line. Maggie tried to get back in. Good hustle Pass. right there by Mighty Mouse, though. Number 34, Larson comes out for number 30, Daniels. For and, this, and now is the time we need to start feeding the ball down low. That way she can't block every shot we throw. We're going to have to capitalize on these times where she has to have a break, get a breather. Larson's in. not scoring really a lot on offense, but she's... Her um, defense is yeah, killing us. She's a tower down there on D. That, and she's getting a lot of rebounds down there is what's helping their offense out. Number 12 shoots the three. It's off the back iron. Host a lady. Oh, they're they're yeah. going to get Dahlman with a with a foul. No. Who did they call it on? Oh, they called it on uh, the Demons. That's going to be on number 14, Jones, the Lady Demons. It's going to be her second, the team's seventh. So that's, that's one and one. And Prague's going to shoot the front end of the one and one now. We need to make these 135 left in the half. This is where the game's going to be won. Both teams kind of struggling on offense. I think I think both teams just playing real good defense. Um, we're not there's not many open shots taken in this game. It's going to be Cooper going to the line for Prague, shooting the front end of this one one. And the first one's good. It looks like Tinsley's fixing to come in, Trill. It's going to be Tinsley coming in for number 25, Delaney Boyd. And the second one's good. Making free throws. That's how you win ball games. 133 left in counting. In the half. Game is back tied at 14 all. Number 10 takes the shot off the mark to the left. Good rebound by Tessa Cooper. Maggie wide open layup. And it's good for two. Wild thing. I know Charles too old to know what that song is, but 
Yeah, I'm too old, guys. <laughs> too young. Number 20 takes the, the driving layup. It's off the mark. Domin's wide open right now. She's going to take it down by herself. Again, again, uh, 34 is out. Larson is out, so we need we need to get the ball down low. As the ball maybe, goes. And maybe uh, get to the line a little bit more. Ball goes out of bounds, and there's going to be a sub. Number 10, uh, Kendall Marshall is going to take a break and let number 23, Coiner, come back in. As number 20 steals the ball away. Mighty Mouse tracking her down. Oh, good defense. It's going to block. Rebound. This is. Cooper comes up the rebound, Mighty Mouse causing some trouble for the Demons and letting her teammates get down there, buying some time. Peyton takes it down. 30 seconds left in the half. Take that shot. Maggie takes the three, it's off the back. It looked like number 12, Fields, touched that. They're going to say she didn't. It's going to be out of bounds on a Lady Devil. 24 seconds left in the half. Prague up two, 16 to 14. Again, really low scoring game. Both defenses playing really good. Both offenses not so much. The Demons have shot a bunch of threes. Number 23 takes a shot. It's off the mark. They're gonna get the ball back. Ooh, good hustle there by number 12. Number 30 goes up with it. It's off the mark, and the buzzer's going to sound. 14-16, Preg leading going into the half. Hey, and Trill. <laughs> Again, guys, thanks for joining us today at the start of the uh, Bethel Tournament. Um, the girls have a slight lead going into halftime with 10 minutes left. I'll leave the camera right there so you guys can see it. But a uh, big defensive game. Offense is not playing very good. Defense is playing really good. Um, and we'll see if Preg can continue to, to get the ball down low and, and work it. And, you know, usually we take quite a, uh, a few threes, Trail. We haven't really been shooting really threes. We really haven't. The girls are really trying to push into the inside because, I mean, if you've noticed that number 12 and number 14, they're both pretty quick. And they're kind of putting a lot of pressure on the outside. Yeah, they really are, though. Um, but we'll see if the uh, girls can come out after halftime and maybe get a little bit more offense going and yeah. not so much, uh, um, you know, they're having trouble breaking the press. The press is pretty tough to break. Um, and like I said, I didn't think they could press the entire game, but they have so far. And eventually teams get worn out, but it looks like the Demons are up to the challenge here. That so they, they also look like they have a big roster they can sub in and out if they need to because it looks like they're about the size of Preg. Preg just has more bodies on the bench because uh, we have – uh, Lana and Kylie are both out with injuries, right. and then we have a few people that are unsuited on the Which bench. Which Kylie is probably our best on-ball defender that we have. I'd agree. Um, and Alana might be one of the best scorers that we have. So, you know, that hurts. So, um, um, But, you know, people are going to have to step up. Like, Tinsley's going to – Tinsley and Cooper have been playing pretty good Maggie's tonight. Maggie's tried to step Maggie up. Maggie has come up a long ways ball. from last year. Last year, Maggie was out. She had a knee injury, if I believe. Yeah, mo most of the second half of the season. But her shot has come a, lo a long ways, and she's actually scoring points, you know, doing what seniors do and try to take take over this. We just her need to get Demi. a little bit more uh, in control when we're trying to break this press and not so many turnovers. Maggie and Demi have kind of became like the teen moms on the floor. And they're kind of helping each other out. So uh, we're going to take a break, get something to drink and stuff. There's eight minutes on the clock, and then we'll be back with the second half after this. Stream like the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on T-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help.
the way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner.
Yeah. Okay, we're back. Start of the second half. Sorry, me and Trevor were eating. And that's number 12 deep from three. It goes in and out. And Manning and Larson fighting over the ball down low, and they're going to call a jump ball. So it should be Preg's ball because um, the Demons had it to start the second half. So Again, uh, per, uh, Perkins try on full court pressing here. Preg going right to left this time. Demons going left to right. Ball's deflected. Good hustle by number 14, Jones, there. And I believe Matty Rich is going to pick up a foul here. If you're just joining us, uh, start of the second half, 731 left in the third quarter. Craig leading Perkins Tryon by two, 16 to 14. Pass back down to, I believe, Jones. Kicks it back out to number 25, I believe, who hits a big three. I'm sorry, 23. Hits a big three. That gives the Demons a lead by one as Maggie's wide open down on the other end of the court calling for the ball, but the girls didn't see her. That passes to Peyton Cameron, who stops and pops from about the free throw. And Peyton Cameron hits another big shot in the game to switch the lead back over to Preg by one. All right. Looks like number 23 is going to be taking the ball to the court for the Demons. And I think it was number 34 goes up with that. It's Good defense. Walk, walk, walk. I didn't see what he called there. Did he call a walk? It's going to be a walk. Tinsley to inbound for Prague. Thirty-five Manning tries to go across. Peyton Cameron. Yes. Juice the three. Bang, bang, bang. Get him one, two, three. Peyton Cameron with a monster three. I believe it's her second, second one of the game. I believe. It's a big shot. Twenty-one seventeen is a score. Good steal right there. Call a foul. Maggie's gonna get fouled by number twenty-four. Bell. going to be her first. It's going to be the team's first. One to one on fouls. Peyton Cameron drives. Reverse layup. Ooh. Off the mark. Oh, they're going to say she stepped on the line down there, Trill. Uh, Number 12 taken down, shoots the layup, off the mark. Tinsley's going to get that one, I think. It's going to be a foul. She's going to the line to shoot two. Lady Devils foul, 20, Stephanie Tinsley. On, number on Tinsley. It's going to be her first. And Preggie's looking for a sub. As the first was <laughs> off the mark. I stayed up there for like 10 seconds. Greg subs in number three, the Mighty Mouse, Leah Dahman for Stephanie Tinsley. And the second one's off the mark. Ooh, that's over the back, and she walked. As Peyton gets trapped across court to Mighty Mouse. Feet, she tried to feed Maggie under the basket. Maggie was wide open. Maggie just missed the ball. I think it was a pass that was a little off the mark there. As number 12 takes the shot. Deep three. It's gonna bounce off the back. Wrestling match. As Demi ties up two it's demons for it. In Oklahoma we call it wrestling. Five fifteen left in the third. Preg still holding a four-point lead here. 
Ooh, good block by Demi, and she's going to walk. Yep. Oh, they call it a jump ball. Okay, that's okay. Good block there by Demi Manning. Again, full court press here. Just need to clean everybody out and let Peyton take this up. Demi tries to kick out to Maddie. Maddie gets it stolen. Peyton comes up with the ball, shoots the little jumper off the front iron. Rebound about number 23. Ooh, double dribble. Pointer. They call her a double dribble. As number 23, Coiner, comes out for number 10, Marshall. Man, the Demons are double teaming. They're coming behind our ladies a lot. Demi Manning goes up with it. Craig ties up twice for it. Bell comes down with the ball. Ooh. Maggie almost got a really good steal there. She just made some contact with number 12. They're going to get her for a foul. Kind of ran into her a little. Yeah, she just barely off the mark. 4.30 left in the third. It's going to be Maggie's first. And that's a first. <laughs> yeah. Normally Maggie's one of the girls has three or four by this point. As the shot's up by number 12 off the mark. Rebounded by Maggie. Keep it. Peyton looking to take it. Oh, there we go. And makes two. And at times, timeout's going to be called by Preg. So Preg takes their biggest lead of the game, 23 to 17. Up one, two, three, four, six, six points. I got to count on my fingers. I went to Shawnee. 412 left in the third quarter. Uh, we'll be back after this timeout, guys. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With Orthopedic Urgent Care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages. All right, and we're going to be back. 4-11 left in the third. Still a lot of game left here. Break up by six. Number 12, she went off her down. foot. Loses it off her foot. It's going to be out of bounds on fields for the Demons. Dahman loses the handle on it. Peyton helps her. Oh, Demi's good steal by Demi. They're going to call that awful. Demi? Yeah, it's going to be off Demi, I think. It's going to be White's ball. Ooh, Mighty Mouse getting in there, taking on uh, Mighty Mouse Larson. Mighty Mouse help him get the jump ball. It's going to stay here, though. Trapper. Oh, good steal. Peyton steals it. She needs a little bit of help. Peyton's just going to keep going. Maddie kind of screened for good Maggie. Good pump fake. Just pump fake. And gets two points down there under the basket. So Preg's defense starting to get a few steals. 34 goes up. It's going to be Larson putting in two more points. Peyton drives in, Ooh. takes the little jumper for two. That seems to be kind of her range today. She's made two or three of those, you know, free throw length jump shots there. Oh, 
Maggie, Maggie runs into her. Peyton Cameron's got 16 points now leading the Lady Red Devils. And Maggie's got her second tackle of the game. Peyton kind of threw one in the middle there to Maddie. Maddie had it. She just got tied up down there. She couldn't get loose she to get a shot off. Three people tied up with her. And that's something new that she's had to play because, you know, last year she played a guard. and Last uh, year she had Lester to be the big girl down there for. Well, we had, we had Lester and then we had Demi as well. Yeah. But we didn't really have anybody to fill that, like, number four spot. And that's what kind of Maddie's kind of done. And she's done a really good job. She gets a lot of rebounds. If you notice, Demi's kind of stayed away from everything on the defensive end. She's kind of just locked down that number 34 and tried to take her out of the game. I think she, I think Larson's only scored four points, if I remember. She's getting a lot of rebounds. Let's see. Though. Yeah, she's only got four points in the game. Larson does. <clears throat> that one just went right through her legs. They're going to call a foul on Maddie, I believe. I'm not going to say anything, but the coach said, hey, that was a push, and then the ref blew the whistle. But there is a lot of fouls getting called against the Demons today. I think Prego, that's only our fourth foul of the entire game, and the Demons have a lot more than that. So I call those hustle fouls. I don't have a problem with hustle fouls, trying to get the ball in the front court and then Man, number 10 shoots the shot. Maggie gets a hand on it. 34 with the mid-range jumper for two. Here comes Larson. Larson's getting loose on the offensive end now. She scored uh, four or six really quick points there. Maggie cross-court pass. She goes up and yeah. draws the foul. And Maggie's going to the line to shoot two. That's going to be on white, number 12, Fields. I think Fields thought she got most of the ball there. The ref is... It's going to be her second and Bethel's second of half. 146 left in the third. Maggie, and this is the first. first. off by Maggie. Maggie. As Preg makes a sub, number 11, Maddie Rich for number 14, Tessa Cooper. Tessa's done a really good job rebounding the ball this game. And the second one's off. Demi Manning gets the offensive rebound, though. Kicks it out by half court. Gets it to Peyton. Peyton kicks it right about to the three-point line to Tessa. Exchanges hands. Demi goes up. She's going to draw the foul. It's going to be number 34, Larson, taking her third, I believe. Man, I mean, that. I'm not a ref or anything, and I'm, I'm not knocking anybody. It's gonna but that looked pretty clean to me. Demi shooting, too. It looked like she did kind of clip her hand going. She might have. I mean, we're a lot further away than they are, so. And the first one's off the mark for Demi. Got to go back to hitting our free throws. We've missed, Rare I think, the last two or three. We make some of these free throws. We could almost seal the game here. And there the we go. second one's good. I just got to tell them to make them. As Dahman tries to pick her up after the three, number 20 gets off. It's going to be off the mark. Maggie cuts to the inside. It's going to roll out. Maggie tries to press. And number 14, deep three. That's her second or third three of the game. That was deep. Now the Demons have cut the lead to just four now. 45 seconds left in the quarter. Twenty-two seconds left. <clears throat> Craig just kind of swinging it around, looking for the open shot, trying to get a shot that they know they can make. Ten seconds. As Peyton drives in and draws the foul to go to the line and shoot two. That's her fourth. Lady 
That's going to be number two, Kendall Marshall, second. Oh, I thought they carded on 34 again. I was like, that looked like a clean block. Going to make some free throws. Man, it got like <laughs> eerie quiet when she shot that. Yeah. We got about eight seconds left in this quarter. And the second one's uh, out. Trap. They've got a trap down low. Craig just trying to stop him from getting a quick shot off. Ooh, she almost made that half court shot. It hit the front of the rim. So at the end of the third quarter, Preg leading 20 29 to 24 up by five against the uh, Demons. We'll be back with the end of the game after this. Taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design. All right, and we're going to be back. Coming into the start of the fourth quarter, Preg up by five points. I think that's Preg's biggest lead of the game, if I'm not mistaken. As Preg makes a sub. Maggie's going to sit, it looks like. That's going to be for number two, Kaylee Rich. Oh, Maggie's, Maggie's bleeding somewhere. They're having to patch her up. I'm not really sure. She got her knees bleeding. So Kaylee Rich is in for the first time this game. And the shot's off the mark by number 10. Preg's five on the court is going to be number three, Mighty Mouse. Number two, Kaylee Rich. 22, Peyton Cameron. Number 20, Stephanie Tinsley. And number 14, Tessa Cooper. No, Tinsley inbounded. And Kaylee Rich is one of the uh, ones that we said last year that would have some attempts to play this year as Cooper shots off the mark. Mighty Mouse tries to save it, but Tinsley, not Cooper. Oh, sorry. Um, but it, Kylie, Kaylee, Kylie Rich is one of the other ones that we said that we needed, uh, that was probably going to get some playing time this year due to some of the seniors that graduated last year. So here's her chance to kind of make a difference here. Our two seniors. Ooh, good deflection by Dahman right there. Number 12 tried to drive in. Dahman got a hand on it. Seven minute mark left in the game. And it's going to be Tessa wide open. Number 23 drives in. And it's going to be good for two. That's going to be Coiner. She's been giving Preg a little bit of trouble this game. As Preg gets ready for a sub. Turnover there against Preg as, as Tinsley's going to sit for Maggie Smith. Number 12 comes up with the rebound. 
tries to drive it off the mark. And they're going to say she stepped on the line trying to throw the ball back in. 6.05 left in the game. Prague up 26 to 31. Five point deficit here for the Demons. And again, the full court pressure by the Demons. Lady Demons, rather. Looks like Leah kind of got trapped right there. And they're going to call number 12, Fields, for her third. It's going to be Preg's ball. Tessa drives, takes the shot. She's going to draw a foul. And that's going to be number 10, Marshall. And Tessa's going to go ahead and line up, shoot two more. That's going to be Bethel's sixth foul. Free throws win games. And that one's off the mark. Tess has got this. And number 35, Demi Manning is going to come in for the Lady Devils in place of number 2, Kaylee Rich. And the second one's off the mark. Ooh, rebound Maggie Smith. Ugh. Five thirty left in the game. Number thirty four goes up. It's gonna be Larson with a shot off the mark. Maggie comes down with it. Number twenty two Cameron drives in with it. Thirty four is gonna get another foul, Trill. This is gonna be her fourth, I think. Yep, it's going to be 34, and we're going to be shooting the one-on-one. -on -one. Demi's going to go ahead and take the front end of it for us. As number 34 takes a seat for the Demons for number 13, Emerson Hurst. Come on, ladies, make some free throws. Let's go. And the first one's off the mark. Good Won't rebound by Cooper. One. Oh, they are wrestling down low. Come on, Tessa. Tessa goes up twice with it. It's up the mark. Excellent job by the ladies doing, getting some offensive rebounds there. They're starting to trap Tessa down low. Yeah, her, the, both number 14s are going at it down there pretty hard. And the shot's off the mark. Mighty Mouse ties up. Ties up with a host of demons. And it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be a timeout called by Prague. 4.37 left in the game. Prague holding on to a five-point lead, 26-31, to 31, as a, um, a lot of fouls are starting to be called the second half. It's starting to go pretty fast pace. So we'll be back with the end of the game after this. From Touchdown Graphics, call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right. Print that report because I have to have it. I'm just saying we can go eat after court. All right, and we're going to be back after that timeout call by Lady Devils. 
Again, 4.37 left in the game. Preg still up by five. Preg ball. Good That's block goes up. It's going to be blocked by number 14, Jones. Number 12 goes up. It's off the mark. Rebounded by Cooper. I'm telling you, she's been the rebound machine today. And 22, Peyton Cameron draws the foul. She's shooting a guaranteed two as that was a shooting foul. And she might be she might be the best free throw shooter today on the team for sure. Foul's going to be on number 23, Coiner. It's going to be her second. And the first one's good. And the second one's good. Two huge free throws right there by Peyton Cameron. And number 23 tries to lay it in, and they're going to call a foul on Dahman. On Dahman. It's going to be her first and Preg's fifth. They're going to say it's on the floor, though, so it'll be an inbound pass here for the Demons. And it's off the mark. And she's going to get a foul again. Well, it should have been over the back on number. It's going to be Demi picking up her first. And it's going to be number 13, Emerson Hurst, taking the line to shoot two. Second one's up, and it's off. They're going to get number 14 on Tessa for like an over-to-the-back or a push here. And we're shooting free throws, Trill. Yep. Tessa shooting another one-and-one. 3.42 one. left in the game. Preg up 33-26 to 26 with Cooper. Uh, the chance to extend the lead. Be two huge free throws again right here. Like I said, I knew this was going to come down to it, Trill. we got to make some free throws. We make the free throws, it's not going to be a, a – it shouldn't be a problem for the Lady Devils to win here. Yeah. And the ball goes out of bounds on Demi. Number 23 takes the three. It's off the mark. Rebounded by Peyton Cameron. going to be a foul drawn. It's going to be Demi that drew that foul, I think? Yeah, she'll be shooting two. It's going to be on number 23, Coiner. She drew her third. And the first one's off the front. Got to make free throws. And here comes Larson back in. She's got four fouls, but there's only three minutes left, so be looking for her. It's going to be Larson in for Hurst. And the second one's good for Demi.
They're gonna call Demi with a foul. I told you, I knew they were gonna give it right back to her right when she went down the court. They had her trapped down there, it's just I think Demi got a little bit of a slap there. They, they said Demi pushed her. And it's off the mark. So, so when they airball a free throw, it has to hit the rim. If it doesn't hit the rim, then it automatically goes the other direction. Or if it's shooting two, it goes to the next shot. Yeah. Let it go. Should be ours. Yeah. Pass was deflected by the demons as they were pressing. Broke the press and tried to get it back down on the other end, but uh, it was deflected out of bounds by the demons. Maggie Smith to inbound. Leah's got it now. She's fronted by number 12 of the Demons. It's stripped away. She still keeps possession of it. Maggie screens for her. That was deflected out by Larson. I was about to say. Two twenty-eight left in the game. Preg up by eight. Counting on my fingers again, yeah. Yeah. Ah. And it's going to be Bucket for Jones. I'm not sure who called the timeout there, but somebody did. It's going to be on white. It's going to be a white timeout. So they cut it to six. Six now. We'll stay here with you. It's a full timeout. So Preg needs to concentrate on breaking the press, getting open on the inbound pass, because when we score, it goes out of bounds right there. They're going to face defensive, like face you up and try to, um, you know, obviously not let the ball get in. That's what happened on the last possession. Maggie really had nowhere to go. She thought she did, and she was stepping kind of – her momentum was going forward, and she knew it was going to get picked off, so she drops the ball. Well, they thought they were going to call a violation, except when she dropped the ball, it went into play. Yeah. So it's a live ball, and the Demons were uh, smart enough to grab it and go, and that led to an easy two points by number 12. So you have to play smart here. You know they're going to eventually going to have to start fouling down by six points. So we need we just need to uh, keep our composure here and keep making free throws. And when we foul, we got to make the free throw. So again, here comes the full court press, and we'll see how Preg handles it. A good wraparound by Peyton Cameron right there. Tried again, another it. turnover. Tried to feed it to Mighty Mouse, and she got picked off. The Demons are really guarding those passing lanes. Larson goes to drive in, kicks it out. Number 12 with the deep three off the back iron. Demi gets the rebound. Peyton's going to try to take it all the way. Pulls up a little early, takes the jumper, it's off the mark. Maggie misses the rebound, ends up picking it back up. So it's all the way to the top of the key. Peyton misses the pass. Mighty Mouse tries to come up behind her and block it, but can't get there in time. 137, they've cut it to four now. Peyton's going to try to take it all the way. I mean, they're triple teaming her. She tried to get that to Demi and just couldn't get it back. They're going to call a foul on Demi Manning here. And that's going to be shooting free throws here. I mean, the Preg's going to have to figure out a way to break this press. It's going to be number 14 shooting two, I believe. One and one. One and one. Sorry. I was looking at the wrong team. And first is good. One possession game now. Preg was up eight just a few minutes ago. And the second one's up, and it's good. It's going to be a timeout called by Coach Kennemer for Preg. 123 left in the game. Preg barely holding on to a one-point lead. Be right back after this. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? 
Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. All right, and we're going to be back. Minute 23 left in the game. Craig only up by two now. We were up eight not too long ago. Come on, ladies. Break this press right here. Get a foul. Let's go. Having a 6-0 and run for the Demons. Mighty Mouse stops the ball. Tries to reset. Maggie thought about taking that wide open three. Oh. Tries to drive in and misses it. It's wide open. You gotta make those. One minute left in the game. Good Mighty steal Mouse by Dolman right off. there. Mighty Mouse stops pass to Larson. We need to get it up the floor before they have a chance to set it up just like that. Peyton's gonna try to reset. Eventually they're gonna have to start trying to foul here. And he's going to try to drive, kick it to Cooper. And they're going to pull it back out. <laughs> 25 seconds now left in the game. Craig trying to stall. They're going to have to foul. Yeah. No foul. Peyton, he's, she's been our best free throw shooter this entire game. She's got 19 points. Let's see if she can make it 21 here. And if she gets these two here, Trill, it's it's gonna take a lot for them to come back here. We need both of these. Come on, Peyton. We have a timeout here. It's gonna be timeout on the Demons. And we'll stay here. So um, again, if the ladies win here, they play tomorrow. I'll bring my schedule back at up again. Four, I believe. Um, if they win here, they'll play tomorrow at 4 p.m. against the winner of McLeod and Clinton. Again, tomorrow 4 p.m. against the winner of McLeod and Clinton. Don't forget, me and Trell will be back here live in Bethel tonight at around 5.30 or this evening, rather, as the boys take on Bridge Creek, Bridge Creek um, in their first game of the tournament. So uh, if the boys win tonight, they play at 5.30, which would be right after the girls if they win. Uh, or if they lose tonight, they will play at 2.30 p.m. So um, I talked to Coach Greer earlier. Um, he's been kind of scouting out the teams. He's going to be he's going to be sitting up here watching the next boys game that, that plays after this. And he says that they should have a pretty decent chance to win tonight. So let's, let's see if Peyton can make these free throws right here and, and pretty much put this game away. The first one's up. It's off the mark. And the second one's off the mark. Rebounded by 34, Larson. No threes, no threes, no threes. Eight seconds left, seven, six, five. Oh, they're gonna call a foul. She walked. 2.8 seconds left in the game. 14's gonna go to the free throw line with a chance to tie it. Got called Demi for her fourth. Timeout, Prig. So we'll see what uh, what's going to happen here. So pretty much, if uh, if Jones makes both of these, 
Prague will have 2.8 seconds to get the ball down the court and score with a chance to tie. If she misses one, it's pretty much over, so she's got to make both of these. Or the Demons have to get an offensive rebound really quick. So 15 seconds left until the timeout's done. We'll see what, uh, what Prague's going to do here. Our big, big, big free throws here. So if she misses the first, look for her to intentionally miss the second one. If she misses the first, that was a one and one I thought it was two. Ooh, uh, uh, she had a chance, and the Lady Devils are going to pull out the win here. It wasn't pretty, but we'll take it, right, Trill? Yep. Um, Wins you know, win. At one point, two, three minutes left in the game, Prague was up by eight. The Demons came storming back, and even at the end, um, Larson there had a chance for a putback but couldn't make it. So, again, L Lady Devils will play tomorrow at 4 o'clock, and we got a few hours to uh, kill until the guys play. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, me and Trey will be back at around 5-ish um, for the boys game. So we'll see you then. See you then.